And tuck your pelvis forward and back a little bit until you find your neutral. So tailbone is reaching down, sit bones reaching down, abdominals reaching up gently just to find that alignment. Ribs and hips should be squared and stacked. Okay, we're gonna breathe. So stop with your belly breathing if that's what's okay with you. Breathing in and out. Then trying to settle into this position. Legs can be straight as long as your pelvis is neutral. Breathing in and out. And then as you breathe, start sending your breath to the back of the ribs and expanding the ribs sideways. So if pressing to the ribs with your hands on the side helps, then try that. So you're gonna start sending your breath to the back of your ribs. Expand the ribs sideways and then feel some of the breath come to the front of the body as well without elevating the shoulders to breathe. Just naturally lifting, breathing out, just taking the air out. Breathing in, back to side, to front. So we're trying to involve the entire torso in the breath, starting with the back, going to the sides, and then the front should be working from bottom and top. Keep your neck stacked over your ribs. Keep your back and pelvis still as you breathe. Good. And then on your breaths out, let's start activating the pelvic floor gently. So activate, lift, and with that lift, engage your lower abdominals coming up to all the way up to hugging your ribs. So we're gonna breathe in, back, side, front. On the breath out, pull the pelvic floor gently, activate the area around the pubic bone, sinking the abdominals, belly button, bringing your hip bones together, hugging your waist, hugging your bottom ribs, all very gentle. Reminder, we're breathing in and out at about a 30% capacity. On the breath out, activate just 30%. Don't tighten everything. Okay, let's do two more. Keep your shoulders relaxed and keep growing tall with your breaths in. And then on the breaths out. Good. We're going to release the hand, keep going with the breath, and we're going to add the arms going up and down as we breathe. We breathe in, the arms go up. Make sure your ribs don't flare. Breathe out, activate core, bringing the arms back in. Make sure your ribs are not going up, forward in. Arch in the back, pelvis back as you breathe in. Keep everything stacked as you breathe. It's okay if your arms go slightly forward if you have tight shoulders. Breathing in, and now expanding the rib cage more. Breathing out, pulling pelvic floor, hugging in. Breathing in, relax your shoulders. Allow the scapulas to rotate and the shoulders to move. Keep breathing. And we're gonna add heel raises. So spread your toes on the mat, press them down, and as you breathe in, try to lift the heels just a little bit off the ground, not a lot. Breathe out, bring it down. Keep your inner thighs active and your hips active. Ties, really tight to allow you to give balance as you go in on the breath in. If you wanna do a few without the arms moving, you don't have to move the arms. Just go up and down, keeping the arms down. And remember, you don't have to go very high. So make sure from big toe to pinky, your toes are on the ground. And then your ankles are really sturdy. And pull the thighs, inner thigh, keep your glutes tight as you go. Add the arms when you feel comfortable. And make sure that your butt's not sticking out and your ribs are not uh, popping forward. So it's a bunch of things to think about. And if you can keep your heels going a little higher, go for it. So let's do two more. Last one, and bring it in. Good, now keeping the heels down, we're gonna breathe in. When you lift the arms, we're gonna rotate to your left. You're gonna breathe out, rotate back to center, bringing the arms down to your side. Then we're gonna rotate to your right, lifting the arms. Keep the pelvis as stable as possible. It's okay to have a little bit of rotation, but you're not moving too much from the legs yet. Just rotating from the upper body very gently as the arms go up. 
Keeping still the alignment with the body. Rotate forward, arms down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. And allow a little bit more movement on the body if you want now. So rotating a little bit more, adding the pelvis, maybe a little bit of the legs back to forward on the breath out. Breathe in, other side. Good. Just do two more. And then add as much rotation as you feel comfortable. Keep stacking that body, so make sure nothing is collapsing. Breath out to center. Last one. And center. Good. Stay here. We're going to bring your right arm up. You can keep the left arm down on your waist. You can open up the legs a little bit wider. We're going to go to lateral flexion. Soften your knees. Connect the hips and the ribs. Keep the abdominals lifted and the tailbone reaching down. We're going to go to the side. So shift your rib cage on the breath and allow the arm to go out to the side. Open up the shoulders, hold it here. Breathe into the ribs, expand the rib cage. As you expand the rib cage, you should form a longer line. On the breath out, shift the ribs a little bit more and try to reach the arm a little bit further. Make sure you're not shifting from the pelvis, keep it stacked. Keep breathing into the ribs, opening. Breathe out, reach a little bit longer, keeping the pelvis still holding in place. Give me one more breath, breathe in, expand the ribs. Breathe out, shift and go. We're gonna come back with a nice breath in, bringing the arm all the way down to the floor. Roll your shoulders, relax the arm, and we're gonna go do the same thing with your left arm. So left arm goes up. Breathe in, lengthen the whole torso, drop the waist down. Breathe out, shift the rib and go sideways just a little bit. Keep pelvis still, open through the breath in. Lengthen the whole body, breathe out, shift and reach. Don't lose height, you're growing taller on the breaths in. Breath out, shift. So we're moving from that upper body, keeping that lower body, keep breathing as stable as possible. Keep opening on the breath in. Shifting and reaching a little longer on the breath out. Watch that shoulder, make sure it's nice and wide. Come back on the breath in. Bring it in and roll the shoulders. Nice. So we've done a little bit of lateral flexion, a little bit of rotation. We're gonna do now front and back, okay? So we're gonna breathe in here. Arms can go up to the ceiling or you can keep your arms to the side and we're gonna roll down. So breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, round the ribs. Tuck your tailbone gently and keep it rounded. We're gonna jump over that big beach ball and roll down only as far as it's comfortable for you. Keep scooping the abdominals in and up to the ceiling. Relax the head and the neck. Come down only as far as you can. Give me a couple of breaths here. When you breathe in, try to open up your back. On the breath out, scoop the abdominals and round the pelvis just a little bit more and come down. On the next breath out, bend your knees, scoop the belly, squeeze the back of the leg and come up, activating the abdominals. For those of you with any sensitivity discs or problem in the back, you can just come down with a flat back, put your hands on your thighs or your waist and just go down straight and get a stretch on the hamstrings and the back of the leg without having to add too much flexion if it's not comfortable for you, okay? And then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep breathing in, arm to ceiling. Breathe out, round the rib cage. So start scooping from the chest, the ribs, the abdominals. Jump over that big beach ball. Keep scooping the abdominals and rounding on the way down. Don't stress the neck and shoulders. Try to go a little deeper and do four breaths. So we're gonna do four breaths and six breaths. As you breathe out, scoop, scoop the abdominals, come down a little closer to the ground. Breathe into your mat, breathe out, scoop, come down, come down a little closer. If you've got blocks, you can use them. And then we're gonna bend the knees if you finish your four breaths, scoop the belly, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings a little bit, and try to keep working the pelvis and the abdominals to bring you back up. If you started on the six breaths, great. If not, we do it together, so breathe in. Breathe out, scoop, 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 scoop. Push that rib cage up to the ceiling, in and up, in and up. And let's try to do six breaths here. Now, for those who want to stretch more of the legs, on the breath out, you can bend the knees a little bit. On the breath in, try to straighten a little bit more. 
You can breathe out, relax the knees a little bit. Breathe in, lengthen and reach. Okay, so we're doing this for six. Last two. Last one, we're gonna bend, keep the knees bent, scoop the belly, relax the upper body and scoop to lift. Keep rounding, rounding, rounding. Roll the shoulders. Good. Relax it. So face me for a second. We're going to do that great wrist exercise to warm up the wrists before we go down to the floor. Shooting stars. Are we ready? Psychologically ready for the pain. Let's go. So make a fist really strong. Make a fist, make a fist. And every time you come in, you want to really make that fist before you shoot the stars out. Okay? So arms here, if you're comfortable, you can bring it down if there's any issues with shoulder and neck. Ready? 100. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 30. I keep losing count. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Just make that fist and shoot the star. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Faster. 70. 7, 8, 9, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, and 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <sighs> okay, we're done for today. <laughs> so stretch your wrists. All right, fingers, hands forward, lengthen this forward, very gently, pull back. And then fingers to ceiling, reach the bottom of the arms forward and pull back, fingers back. Release it, other arm. So fingers down, top of the arm reaching forward, gently pull everything back, we feel a stretch here. And then fingers up, reach that bottom wrist forward and pull back and stretch here. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. All right, release, we're gonna roll down, okay? So we're gonna roll down into all fours. We're gonna breathe in, arms to ceiling. So everything that we were doing before, breathe out, scoop. Bring your hands to the ground, bend your knees and walk your hands halfway forward. Then very gently drop your knees down. Find the alignment of hands, shoulders, knees, and hips. Your knees are hip width apart and your arms are shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers, press the tips of your fingers into the mat and drag them in to take some pressure off your wrists. Anybody with wrist issue, just come down into your elbows or use your blocks, okay, to raise you a little bit, two or one block. So we're here, let's breathe into the belly. So find your neutral spine, pull your shoulders down, lengthen the back and crown of the head forward, lifting the neck to ceiling. Abs tight, ribs up, don't round the back, just find your neutral, just shift your chest and ribs up, round your scapulas right around the ribs, let's breathe into belly. Breathing in, dropping the belly, not dropping the back. Breathe out, pull the belly up. Breathe in, breathe out, keep your shoulders wide, breathe in and out. Let's add a cat cow to this. So let's breathe in, shoulders down, shift your chest forward, keep your abdominals slightly engaged and arch your upper back. Breathe out with your pelvis, scoop the abdominals, tuck your tailbone. Round the pelvis, low back, mid back. Keep shoulders down, push yourself up to the ceiling and round that upper back more. Relax the head. Breathe in, shoulders down. Tailbone goes up first. Keep your abs slightly engaged, mid ribs down, chest shifts forward, scapulas down, open up that chest. Breathe out, scoop the belly, tailbone goes down first. Keep engaging the abdominals. Mid back, press with the shoulders wide and round the ribs. 
Keep your feet really in line with the knees, everything in line, shoulders down, tailbone up on a breath in, keep pulling the shoulders down, glide that chest forward and open up. Feel mostly the upper back working, not the lower back. Scoop with the abdominals, scooping. And round, push, shoulders wide. Make the roundest back you can. Hold here for two breaths. Breathe into the side of the ribs. Breathe out, scoop the belly, push more. Breathe into the side, back and side. Breathe out, scoop, push more. Now in the next breath in, shoulders down, abs still stay tight, tailbone goes up. Mid back, chest lift, stay here. Breathe into your chest. Breathe out, keep the abs tightening and try to lift your chest a little bit more. Breathe in, breathe out. Last breath into your chest. Breathe out, round and push back. Take a quick stretch here. Roll up to seated. Good, release your wrists. If you need to stretch it again, like the stretches we did, you can stretch it. This is going to be, give you the most relief. And you can also just pull your wrists this way. So grip and pull. Good. All right, so legs are gonna come forward. We're gonna go down to the ground, okay? I hope everybody can see me. Can you check if the, the screen is right? So we're gonna roll down, okay? We're gonna stay here, we're gonna do breathing to the abs, we're gonna do marches, and we're gonna do toe taps. So before we go, let's breathe into the abdomen. Breathe out, scoop that core. So pelvic floor activates, scoop the abdominals, hug your hip bones, sinking the abdominals in, hug your waist and your ribs. Keep breathing in to the back and side of the ribs. So the same breath we were doing standing now on our backs. So try to still send your back to the back of the ribs. Arms can be bent or straight, lengthen, find your alignment, no sternum belly button, hip bones, thighs and knees, toes in line with your knees. Keep breathing. So make sure we're not tightening the abdominal wall, we're scooping. So remember that glass, try to fog it. And we're scooping this in, not tightening. Let's add a pelvic tilt. So on the breath out, we're gonna imprint the spine, scooping the belly in. It's very gentle, so don't use a lot of force. On the breath in, the ribs stay quiet. We're gonna lengthen the tailbone and we're gonna dip the pubic bone forward. It's a very small movement, but we're activating the low back muscles. Breathe out, scoop, imprint. Watch the difference between this and tightening. Scoop, very gentle, 30% effort. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, the tailbone, the pubic bone, arch your low back and dip that pelvis forward. So get that engagement of those deep abdominal muscles, our deep core to imprint. Try not to use your butt and your hamstrings on this. We want deep abdominals. And then keep going forward, activating your low back. Give me two more. Remember to hug the ribs at the end. Breathe in. Breathe out. Remember not to move from the ribs when you go forward. It can activate later, but not to go forward. Now let's find your neutral. So find your neutral here. Anywhere between the arch and the imprint, you should find a comfortable position. We've got sacrum, pelvis on mat, tailbone very anchored. Low back just hovering, ribs on mat. If you can keep that position, great. If not, you can support it with a towel or a sponge or you can imprint today if that's better for you. Let's march. So add, uh, breathe out, activate the abdominals, stabilize the pelvis and the spine, low back in neutral. We're gonna float the right leg up on the breath in. Breathe out, activate, keep full stability of pelvis and back. So the idea here is to make sure we're not rocking forward and back and side to side, okay? Keep it stable, keep marching, breathing in, breathe out. First, activate the core, stabilize the pelvis and the back, then the leg relaxes down. 
So the legs are just floating. We're not pulling with hip flexors. You're just floating up and floating it down, just keeping that stability of the pelvis. Keep going. So we're gonna do a total of eight. I'm on four, you guys might be on six. So I'm just gonna do two more. Or at least do until you finish it with that left leg. Keep activating that core. Keep lengthening the spine. Keep everything in place. Good? So rest of here, we're gonna add our crunches to this. Every abdominal exercise we're going to do today, you have the option of using your arms, lifting, keeping the heads hanging, supporting the head, or keeping your arms next to your torso if you don't wanna use your arms, okay? So I'm gonna start with the arms to the ceiling, pick hands behind the head or hands next to you. Feet stay where they are. Find your neutral heel, we're not moving pelvis, we're gonna, we're gonna flex only from that upper rib cage. So breathe in, tuck your chin, lengthen, gaze over to the corner, top ceiling and wall that you have. On the breath out, first we scoop the abdominals in, then we glide the ribs to raise the head and the shoulders without tipping the pelvis, without the abdominals popping up to the ceiling. Then breathe in or out, reverse the abdominals. So make sure you're working your back muscles to do that. Breathe in, tuck your chin, breathe out, scoop and glide. Roll the head and the shoulders, bring the arms next to your hips, opening the shoulders wide. Breathe in, roll back, very controlled. For those of you who are a bit more advanced, if you want to keep reaching your arms up higher towards your ears, you can. Just make sure that your ribs are not popping and are not losing the position of your spine when you do that. Breathe out. Breathe in, control. Arms either here, over chest, or you can continue it going back without the ribs popping. Scoop. And down. Now let's add the marches to this. So tuck your chin on the breath in, breathe out, bring the arms, the head, roll the shoulders, march one leg up. Don't change the position of the opposite side. So you're working on maintaining the most stability you can. Scoop, march, come up. And down. Let's do two more. Scoop, march. Come down. Last one. Scoop, march. And come back. Relax your hands down. We're going to imprint and march both legs up for toe taps. So imprint the spine down. Stabilize it. And you can march one leg up at a time. It will be your safest option. If you're really strong, imprint, bring both legs up and hold them parallel, same position in alignment with your hip bone. Keep the arms down. We're gonna send one leg at a time. First, first half of the breath, imprint, then relax the leg only as far as your back stays completely stable. Bring the leg back up. You can let the leg move more if you're releasing the leg in the hip joint. So don't grip it. Try to keep it relaxed so it can move and disassociate from the pelvis. So scoop the abdominals, relax. Go only as far as you can maintain the stability of the back and pelvis. Scoop. So make sure again, we're not pushing that abdominal up to the ceiling. We're hugging it inwards. Two more. Last one. Full breath. Out. Breath in. Let's add crunches to this. Breathe out, crunch, toe tap. Come back down. Breathe out, crunch, toe tap. Good, two more. Crunch, toe tap. Last one. Good. We're gonna come up to seated and you have two options. You can put your hands behind your legs and rock it up. Or you can come out to the side, push yourself up, and sit up. Okay, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna keep the knees bent, we're gonna bring the hands behind the thigh, and we're gonna do very few roll downs just to release the back so we can start the exercises. So scoop the abdominals, hands are here, shoulders are nice and wide, and we're gonna scoop. And I want you to imagine that your shoulders and your head are not gonna move from space and you're just going to move from the pelvis. You're going to breathe in to lengthen, breathe out. Scoop the abdominals, so keep pulling the pubic bone and belly button in and back. 
towards the back of your spine and try to keep this stable so we're not pushing with the upper back. Keep scooping, rounding. So the tailbone is tucking under, reaching forward, and we're trying to just tuck that sacrum, touch it to the ground without the upper back really doing much work. It's just following. Let's hold it at this position. Breathe to the back and side of the ribs. Now imagine that you're scooping the rib cage back. I want to touch my ribs to my back wall. I'm going to tuck my chin, and I'm leaning forward with my head and shoulders. Scoop up and over. Keep that rounding C shape we found. Once you find your sit bones, stack the spine. Shoulders and elbows wide, breathe out, scoop. Keep this stable and try to move just from your pelvis. Keep rolling down, moving from the pelvis only. Stay as rounded as you can, try to go a little deeper into the movement and then hold, breathe into your back. Breathe out, scoop more, so really hug this area. Imagine there's a big fireball here and you need to go up and over. The C shape you found, you keep, keep scooping and lifting. Find your sit bones, stack, and let's go a little deeper. Let's try to touch the sacrum if you can. If not, don't. And if you have any flexion issues on the spine, just go a little less flexion back, okay? More between flexions and uh, flat back. Otherwise, we're rounding. Rounding, rounding. If the sacrum touches, great. Take a deep breath in. A small breath in, breathe out, scoop and round. Keep that C shape, go up and over, up and over that fireball, up and over, find your sit bones, sit up tall. We're gonna go all the way to the ground and we're gonna stay there. So breathe out, round, round, round. If your hands wanna be here, that's fine. Just make sure again, you're moving from your pelvis. Good, bring your feet closer. We're gonna start with the 100. So pull your legs up or down. Let me just walk you guys through the hunter. We're going to progressively make it a little bit harder. Those who want to continue can continue. Those who need to stay at a lower level, stay at the level. Okay? So keeping the legs here, arms are going to go to ceiling. You may also support your head or use the arms and keep the head down. The hundreds. Let's crunch up on a breath out. Stay here. We're going to start pulsing. Five breaths in, five breaths out. Two, five breaths out, two, three, four, five, hold. March your legs up if you're comfortable with that. Bring your inner thighs together and zip it. Take your knees where your back is comfortable. This is more supportive, this is not. Let's continue. Breathe in for five, breathe out, scoop. Breathe into your back, breathe out, scoop. 10 more. Four, five, out. Keep looking between your, your thighs. Straighten the legs to the ceiling if you're comfortable. Otherwise, stay with the previous position. One, two, three, four, five. Ten, out. We're gonna do 30 more. Lower your legs if you're comfortable with that. Stay here, zip that inner thigh together and really work the back of the arms. Crunch high on your breaths in, out. Crunch higher, last step. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, out. And hug your knees in. Gonna walk side to side, relax your head, relax your shoulders, and bring your feet down to the ground. We're gonna go into roll-ups. Straighten the legs out. We're gonna do the first full roll-up, otherwise you're gonna roll, sit up, and you're gonna do just the roll-downs that we did when we started the exercise before the 100. If you're okay with the roll-up, legs together, feet flat, pressing into the ground, arms go back only as far as your ribs don't pop. You're going to breathe in, lift the head and the arms, breathe out, scoop, round the spine, anchor your sit bones, lift the ribs and reach forward with the upper back as much as you can, scooping and lifting. Breathe in to start going back, breathe out, continue. For those who need to bend the knees and support on the roll down, that's fine. Otherwise, you can bend and not support. You can bend or keep the legs straight all the way up. And breathe in. For those who cannot roll down, keep going for those who did the first one. Roll to your side, come up. And you can just do the roll down part of this, okay? 
And then you can roll to the side and start again. For those who are doing the full, just keep doing the full version. Scoop. Keep pressing the inner thighs and the legs together. Find your sit bones, reach up and over. Now, for those who want greater challenge, keep your arms at ear level, and as you go down, you keep the arms up. The higher the arms, the harder it is. If they're far forward, they're going to be a little bit easier. My back's super tight. And reach, breathe in. Give me two more, scoop. Zip the inner thighs together, scoop and lift. Come up and over, keeping that sit bone stable, and reach. Great stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep zipping the inner thighs. Scoop, round. Open your legs if you need a little bit more help and if your back is too tight. Last one. Let's do one more. So keep the legs open if it's easier for you. Keep rounding. Shoulders nice and wide. Stay here. Now reach your scapulas and your arms as far forward to your ears. What we usually don't like to do. And on your way down, keep pulling the shoulders and the scapulas back down. Keep pressing your legs on the ground and mobilize that spine as much as you can. Good. Arms go back. Stretch. Stretch your legs if you want to. Good. And bring your arms here to your side. We're going to do single leg circles. So we're going to keep the left leg down. We're going to pull the right leg to the chest. Hands behind your thigh. Okay? So the leg that's on the ground, the left leg, you're going to flex that foot, press on the ground, and try to pull the leg into the midline of the body, so keep your inner thigh active. Hold behind your thigh, and we're going to stretch this leg to the ceiling as much as you can. Stretch, flex your foot if you need more of a stretch, and release. Okay, or just stretch as far as you can stretch. If the bottom leg is bothering you, bend it and keep it bent. Okay, we can keep knees as bent as we need to. And then this is our third stretch. We're gonna keep this leg up here. So again, both legs can be bent. Bottom leg can be straight and top leg bent. If you have the flexibility and maintain the alignment of the pelvis, this leg can straighten. Otherwise, keep it slightly bent, do the circles with the knees. Arms next to you. Take your left arm on top of your left hip and make sure that hip is not going all over the place when we draw, this, draw circles. Starting to the right, breathing in, breathe out, small circle down, across the body if you don't, if you don't wobble and back in. Breathe in, breathe out, swing it across and in. Two, three, breathe in, breathe out, swing it across. So we're trying to maintain the left side stable. If you can straighten more, go for it. If not, that's fine. You can try to make it a little bigger. It can be as big as you don't have movement on the opposite hip. Breathe out, swing it, bring it back in. Breathe in. So let that leg really move, but keep it stable and sunk into the hip joint. You have to release it. And one more. Back to ceiling. So let's reverse. Three small ones to the inside of the body. Inner thighs are working. Small around to the outside, back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Last small one. Remember, you can still keep your knees bent and mobilize. Now, big circles. Breathe in. If you can, just go as wide as you can, as long as this hip is not moving. So you're really pushing that left side of the body into the mat. And that's our big three. Bring it in, stretch. Take a couple of breaths here. Leg goes to the ground, stretch it. If you need to tap that one right here, you can. Left leg, bring it in. Right leg, flex to the midline of the body. Inner thigh is active. The whole back of the right side is on the mat. And we're gonna stretch, breathe in, stretch the ceiling, flex the foot, and relax. Two, breathe. Don't stress shoulders, so everybody keep your neck lengthened, the shoulders and the elbows wide, so there's no stress on that upper body. Keep it here, knee bend, lengthen the waist and the pelvis, so keep that alignment. Let's go out, small circle, three. Breathe in, breathe out, swing it around and back in. So this side is working stability, okay? Keep focusing on pressing that whole right side down, and then we're gonna go bigger circles, breathe in. Find the position that you need for your leg. 
Breathe in, breathe out, swing it back up, and three. Reverse, three small circles, mid the body, out and back in. Two, keep the waist long, try not to hike it up as well, okay? So after you've done three small ones, three large ones, breathe out. We're now really working the stability of the right side. Remember, you can still keep both knees bent and work on that mobility. When you finish your three, bring it in. Hug the thigh. Couple of breaths. So we're gonna keep this knee here and bring the other knee in. We're gonna do rolling like a ball, but I'm gonna give you variations because not many people can do this exercise. Two ways to get up. You can rock yourself up or you can roll to the side and then push yourself up to seated, okay? From this position, we're gonna take our hands to the back of the thighs. Elbows and shoulders are going to stay wide, okay? And then you're going to round the pelvis, round, round, just like, the, like this rolling down that we did to warm up. And you're gonna keep rounding the pelvis until you're kind of balanced between your sit bones and your tailbone and your toes are floating off the ground. You can keep your legs together, wide, and hold here. Now, all I want you to do is to scoop the abdominals and try to tip the pelvis back. So I want you to imagine, I just want you to touch your sacrum to the ground, you're not gonna get there, but I want you to use your abdominals to roll and then to bring you back. It's like minute movement. Breathe out, scoop and roll, almost to tipping back and back. The upper body doesn't move, so we're not throwing the neck and the upper shoulders, it stays rounded. Now scoop and round more, like you're looking at your belly button. For those of you who this is enough, just holding balance, stay here. For those of you who wanna roll, make sure you're looking at the belly button, you're really rounded, your shoulders and your elbows are wide, Press your leg forward and resist with the arms. And then as the pelvis tips you, you go with it. And then you come back and you balance. Try not to kick, so keep the position. Tip with the pelvis, come back and balance. If you need it to be harder, legs come together and the arms come to the top of your shins, still wide. Breathe out, tipping, tipping, tipping. Come forward and balance. <laughs> tip, tip, tip and balance. Okay, if you want it even harder, you make your ball even smaller. So now you're here. So first option was this, then this, then this, and now you can do it here. This is much harder. The smaller the ball, the harder it is to, to control it. Again, you're moving from the pelvis. So round, round, round. Try not to throw your neck back. Never roll into your neck. So keep it tucked in, look at your belly, just go to the top of your shoulders and balance. Now hold this position, I'll wait for everybody to get here. We're gonna roll down and start doing the series of five abdominals. So we're gonna bring the right hand to the outside ankle, left hand to the top of the knee, or both hands here. You're gonna roll down, bringing the right knee to you. You can keep the left knee bent for now. Once you get up here, you can straighten, down here, not up. Okay, so we're gonna crunch. All the options for this are, hold with your hand here, head down and just use the legs um, and the arms, or stay in full position. Let's switch, one. Two, full breath, scoop and pull. Pull yourself up a little higher, three. Four. Five. Six. We're gonna finish with the left leg, pull it in. Hold, good, bring your knees to your chest, relax your head for a second. We're gonna do double leg stretch. Now I'm gonna start with a very simple variation, so everybody's gonna bring their hands behind their head, crunch up, support your head. Legs are going to be bent. So we're going to open the elbows and once we move, we're closing elbows and straightening legs. You're gonna breathe in and release. Okay, so we're going, sorry, we're gonna kick the legs open, elbows, pull the knees and bend. Okay, open the elbows, straighten legs as far as you can, as long as you're not arching. Bend knees, pull the elbows in. Again, breathing in, breathing out, or find the breath that's good for you. Now we're gonna use the hands with this. So we're gonna bring the hands to the ankles and we're gonna go breathing in, circle the arms and build, 
bringing the knees back in, breathing out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold, if you want this to be harder, the limbs move away from your body, but your back and your pelvis stay still. Breathe in, don't let your shoulder and head come down. Breathe out, pull. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, last two, breathe out, crunch higher. Last one, and pull, and relax down, good. We're gonna do single straight leg stretch, so the legs are gonna go up to the ceiling. You can keep the knees bent. We're gonna have one hand behind the thigh, depending on your flexibility, it can go higher. So crunch up, bring your arms where it's comfortable, lower the left leg, so it can be here, here, don't pull it behind the knee joint, anywhere that's comfortable. You may also support the head or stay down here. Two pulses with the leg kicking to you, breathing out. Switch, switch, scoop, scoop, switch. Keep the shoulders high, crunch, crunch. Five, six, last two, eight. Both legs to ceiling, hands behind the head. Double leg lowers, watch your low back. This is the hardest one. Scoop, push the low back on the mat. Release the legs only as far as there's no movement on your low back, that's it. Breathe out, crunch and scoop, scoop, scoop. Keep pushing that low back on the ground. Three. And up, four. Crunch higher, scoop the abdominals, don't let the low back move. Last one. Pull it in, crisscross, rotate, press the right scapula down, rotate the left armpits to right knee, stay here. Just stay here. I want your right scapula on mat, your left pelvis down, your elbows wide, and you're reaching just the shoulder to the knee. Don't bring the elbows in. Switch, left scapula presses, rotate. This leg reaches, this pelvis down. Left scapula pressing, right pelvis. Switch. Open up those shoulders. Switch, look just outside your thighs. Switch. Reach the opposite leg. Switch, reach, rotate across this way. Six faster, one, go one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't let that pelvis move. Too late, hug your knees, rock side to side. Good. Relax your backs a little bit. We're going to come up and we're going to be doing spine stretch forward. So straighten your legs. Arms are going to go back up. Remember, you can roll to the side and come up or we're going to roll up to seated. So breathing in, breathing out. Press the legs down. Roll those abdominals are tight. Come up and sit tall. Leg position. You can keep your legs straight they're going to be hip width a little bit wider if it's more comfortable you may also bend your knees or you may sit on a couple of blocks or a rolled mat if it bothers your hamstrings tight or your hip flexors are angry okay so from this position i'm going to show you from the side flex your feet okay your toes can be soft just reach to the bottom of the heels your arms are going to be forward Shoulders wide, and you're gonna breathe in to lengthen that spine. On the breath out, this part of your body doesn't move. So the pelvis stays neutral, and we move just from the rib cage. It's a stretch of the upper back. So breathe, breathe out, round from that rib cage. Push the chest and the ribs back. Glide your arms forward and try to find that upper back stretch. Breathe in, stack, pull the scapulas back down. Breathe out, scoop. From that midrib up, push, 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 breathe in, stop, and breathe out, round, and reach. Look down at the floor, and your head is falling between your arms, okay? So don't keep the head here, don't drop it, breathe out, slide the scapulas forward, drop the head, push the bra line, or the mid-back, all the way back, and just scoop. Back up, arms to side, side stretch. Your left arm is gonna go down, right hand goes up. You're gonna shift the rib cage. This side of the pelvis stays down as you move. 
Come back to the side and right arm goes down, left arm up, shift the rib cage. Remember your knees can be bent. Keep scooping and reaching and back to the side and the opposite side has to be anchored. Don't let it come up. And here, not too much weight on the arm that's on the floor. Breathe in, last two. Breathe out, go a little deeper this time. Really press this down and really reach this across so you can use the arm on the floor a little more. Push yourself with it, stretch a little bit more. Come back and release. Shake your legs. Okay, I'm not gonna do the next one. So, we're gonna go into prone. We're gonna go into our belly and start doing some back extensions. So, flip into your bellies. We're gonna do prone arm reaches. So, I want your forehead to come down towards the mat and your arms are gonna go out to the side here, okay? Keep your head floating if you can. If not, you can support it with a towel or whatever is in front of you, as long as your neck is in line with the spine. The legs, hip width, together if you have no compression on the back. You're gonna scoop your belly off the ground. Scoop, scoop, scoop. You're gonna lengthen that tailbone and try to imagine that you wanna press the bottom of your pubic bone on the mat. So decompress and lengthen your lumbar spine. Hands, I'm gonna keep them facing your side. Pull the shoulders and scapulas down, tuck your chin, and lengthen the neck and the head up, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, lengthen the neck, and reach the arms and the scapulas down. Stay here, squeeze the scapulas towards each other after you've reached your hands as low as you can, and release. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, pull the shoulders and scapulas down. You wanna grab your feet, now pull the scapulas towards the middle of the back, keeping that body lengthened and release. One more. Breathe in, lengthen the body, breathe out, scoop the abdominals, and reach the arms, lengthen the neck. So see what breath works for you best, breathing in or out. Squeeze the scapulas, try to open your chest. Now we're gonna go through extension. So I want you to keep your ribs down and I want you to just mobilize your upper back, okay, your thoracic spine. So we're gonna breathe in, do the same thing. Lengthen the body, breathe out, scoop the abdominals, and you're gonna press into your rib cage. As you reach the scapulas down and squeeze them towards each other, you're gonna lift that chest up, but keep it reaching forward. And then we come back down. And again, breathe in to lengthen the body. Breathe out, belly button in, press into the rib and come up. Stay here, do a breath into the chest. Breathe out, scoop the belly, one more. Breathe into your chest, very short breath. Breathe out, pull the belly, breathe in, lengthen down. Okay, we're gonna do one more, we're gonna stay up here and we're gonna pulse the arms. So let's move the palms facing the ceiling and breathe in, lengthen the body. Breathe out, scoop the belly, legs, pubic bone, ribs pressing down, shift the chest, press into the ribs to lift. And let's stay here and pulse the arms to the ceiling, sniffing breaths, 10, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. come down. We're gonna do it one more time for 20. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals. Breathe in, lengthen and lift. Keep lifting and let's go 20. Keep the scapulas moving towards each other and pulse. Keep squeezing an orange between the scapulas. 10 more, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want 10 more, stay here. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, relax. Make a pillow with your hand under the forehead, breathe into your belly. Good. Now, let's bring the hands forward into a wide V. We're gonna go into our swimming. So I'll try to face you so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we're here. Arms facing forward. Okay, so this is gonna be the motion that you're gonna, the position you're gonna be at. On the side, we're gonna press the right arm down, left leg down, and then we're gonna lift. Sorry, both legs, both arms down. Lift the arm, right arm only without rolling or arching. Bring it back down, 
Press everything down, lift the left arm. Let's do that again. Press everything down, scooping the abdominals, tailbone lengthening, right arm lifts. Down, press everything down, left arm lifts. Now let's move the legs. So lengthen the legs, and we're gonna move right leg long, not up, but long. So there's no movement on the spine when it lifts. And then this leg, lengthen it, and then when you lift, there should be no movement on the spine. So keep the abdominals in, and go as long as you can. We're moving here, hamstrings, glutes fold, some glutes. One more on each side. And other side, good. Now we're gonna go opposite. So we're gonna go right arm, left leg, reach, bring it down, left arm, right leg, reach. Keep switching. Switch. Now, if you can switch without stopping, let's do that. So, right arm, left leg, switch right away. Left arm, right, and switch. Keep your abs pulling off the ground. Keep your ribs and pubic bone pressing on the mat. And then if you can, not touch the ground, just keep switching, swimming. Palms can face the floor or face each other. And if you can go faster, let's try 10. Nine, eight, seven, you can go slower. Five, four, three, two, one. Make a pillow with your hand and rest. So you can stay here and breathe into your belly. If you feel comfortable, you can stretch back. Otherwise, you can stay down because we're gonna go into side legs. So let's turn to your side. Um, I'm on my right side, but I can cue you guys on your left side if you want. But if you want, if you can start laying down on your left side, so your right leg is going to be up and you're mirroring me. Okay? I hope I'm in screen. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna lift the legs up and bring it slightly forward to the body. For those of you who are more advanced and you wanna do it straight line, that's fine. Otherwise, it comes slightly forward for more stability. But make sure head, shoulders, and hips are in one line, okay? Top arm is in front of you for balance and the bottom arm is supporting your head. You may put a pillow, a block, you may fold your hand, whatever is comfortable for you. Now, make sure that your hips are stacked, okay? So the hip bones are on top of each other and the shoulders are stacked. All right, let's flex the feet, let's lift the top leg, and we're gonna reach it. So reach it all the way to the wall that's right below you. And as you reach that top leg, I want you to lengthen the top waist as far away from your rib as possible. And as you reach, this space underneath you is supposed to float up. So your waistline should be up. So if we're standing straight, we should be in one straight line and not Flex to the side, okay? So keep reaching, keep this up, keep this length, and now let's connect this. So a tiny tuck of the pelvis and a tiny tuck of the ribs and connect this area. This should be working really hard right now. And the whole back is lengthened. Stay here, leg lifts, we're gonna do 10. So keep reaching, 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 activate your hips. This cannot move. So lift the leg without the waist collapsing, hold it. Go as high as you can. Keep reaching, keep activating and connecting the ribs to hips. And let's go down and up. One, two, keep pushing. So I usually keep my hand here to make sure that my pelvis is nice and stable. Four, five, keep that body straight. Six, go as high as you can. Challenge it each time, but make sure you're not dropping the seven, eight, Nine, don't forget to breathe and engage the core. 10, we're staying up. Lengthen, keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Give me tiny pulses here and go. One, two, three. Keep your toes facing forward or down to the floor a little bit. Little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, bring it in. Nice. All right, bring it back up and we're gonna do leg circles. So we're gonna point the toes, we're gonna bring it up, reach the legs, and we're gonna do tiny circles. You might need your hand here for a little bit more balance. So we're gonna go forward, up, Tuck the pelvis a little bit to maintain this connection. Take it back, opening the hips, working the glutes. Bring it back in. So make sure you're not moving from your low back to move the leg. This doesn't move. Let's go. Five each direction. So one, or you might get two. Two. Connect, connect, reach back and down. Three, forward, up. Connect, connect, reach, reach, reach. Four. Five. Bring it in. Hold it, let's go back. Reach the leg and go back, 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 up and forward. Two, keep the stability of the leg. If you can, bend that bottom leg. It's gonna give you more stability along with the arm. Three, four, and five. Bring it in. And All right, we're gonna go on our backs and we're gonna do some bridges. So, going to your back, both legs on the ground. We're gonna keep working the, the left leg more. So first what I want you to do is find your neutral. So really scoop, hug the hip bones and the ribs, and we're just gonna lift the pelvis in a flat back position. So you're gonna breathe out, squeeze and lift, bring it back. Two, squeeze and lift, bring it back. So don't allow the back to arch, keep the chest and the ribs heavy, connect, and the only thing I should see moving or feel are the glutes and the legs and the abdominals keeping the back in that neutral position. Five, stay up, bring your legs closer together, lift the right leg to ceiling or bend. Just the left, the, sorry, the right leg stays down and the left leg raises up, okay? And you're gonna go down and up, one. Stay there, I'm doing the opposite leg, two. So the leg that was on top when we're sideline, three, that's the leg that should be on the ground, four, Bend if you need to. Five, keep the hips stacked. Six, they are aligned with each other. Seven, this leg reaching up will help you with alignment. Eight, nine, keep your scapulas on the ground. Ten, stay up, pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, abs tight. Three, two, one, release it down. Hug your knees, side to side a little bit, no stretching time. All right, we're gonna do the opposite side. So I need to move myself that way. I'm gonna come up. Let's go the other direction. My arms are here. And let's work the other side. I'm gonna find the frame. Okay, so we're lifting both legs forward. Again, just slightly in front of you, just for balance. Make sure your head, shoulder, and hips are aligned. Then make sure your hip bones are stacked and your shoulders are stacked. This is here for balance if you need to. Let's lift the top leg a little bit, flex both feet. Flex and let's lengthen. So reach, 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 reach. And make sure this bottom waist is off the ground. Now, scoop your abdominals. So bring the ribs in and tuck your tailbone and feel the activation of your core. You should be working hard again. Reach a little bit more, reach more until you feel here active. Is it active? Toes forward or slightly down, and let's go one, up and down. Two, lengthen and lift. Three, four, five. Remember you can bend this, six. Keep reaching, seven, don't let this move. Eight, nine. Full breath out to lift. 10, stay here. Reach, reach, reach. Core active. Pulse at your end and range. Go one, two, three, four. Keep lengthening. Six, seven, core is active. Eight, nine, 10. Bring it in, relax. We're gonna do circles. So bring that leg back up. Point, reach, 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 reach. Abs tight, five to each direction. One. Tuck the pelvis, really hold, open to the back and back down. Two, three, four, five. 
go up, go back, 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 tucking that pelvis, connecting here. Good, now go back. One, keep this connection, don't arch the back, up and forward. Two, three, I have to keep pelvis without my arm. Four, lengthen, squeeze that butt. Five, reach, 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 up and forward. And, all right, let's do those bridges on your back. So now we're gonna be working your other leg, left leg. Let's go up and down first for five. So find your neutral, scoop the abdominals, press into the heels, knees aligned with the hips, and go. Squeeze and lift, keep this connected, scapula is down, ribs and abs pressing down, down. Two, and down. Three, really neutral here. Four, there should be no pressure on your low back. Five, Stay here. Lift that leg. The one that was up is still working, which is your left leg. Let's go down and up. One, two. Remember, you can keep the knee reaching. Three, keep the hips aligned. You're not going very high. Four, really squeeze. Five, six, seven. Keep this connection. Eight, use your arms to help you. Nine, ten. We're staying up. Go, tiny pulses at your end range. Go as high as you can, now go squeeze. Two, three, 